Weather Authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Well, we started the month with three straight days of rain and now finally a rain-free day. And over those three days, here in Evansville, better than an inch of rain. 1.13 is what we had on the docket. Uh, a lot more rain in other places. I know, I've seen a lot of pictures of a lot of flooding in their backyards or whatever it might be. But at the same time, now we're drying out. Not as long as I'd like, but we're drying out today and tomorrow and into, into Sunday. Uh, not through Sunday for sure. Our Superior Ag camera, and that's downtown on top of Fifth Third Bank, looking out toward the mighty Ohio River. Good shot there. Look at all that traffic that's out there on 66, and a whole lot of it headed in to Warren County right now on 66. There's the Lloyd Expressway. Flag getting pushed just a little bit, but not a whole lot, uh, just off the Lloyd Expressway. And there you go, there's I 69. A little bit of traffic out there as well. And it's a post. Uh, to downtown Owensboro, where we're looking down upon Smothers Park. And downtown, of course, is going to be all a buzz again tonight with Friday after 5. Last Friday for Friday after 5, not such good weather. After an absolutely stellar, beautiful kickoff a couple of weeks ago, now we're back to having a beautiful day for our Friday after 5. So two out of, two out of three ain't bad. And that's what we got. It's going to be in the 70s for the most part during the entire event tonight. So can't ask for a whole lot better than that. Not that humid. And I don't see a cloud in the sky over Owensboro right now. You know, it's been a slow road on 41. I don't know what's going on, but it's like it's moving, but it's just like there's just thick with traffic. And you can still see that northbound and southbound. It's moving, but not a whole lot faster than walking. But that's okay. You know, at least, like I said, movement's better than nothing. All right, let's take a look at the temperature out at the airport farther north up 41. It's 78 degrees with a southwest wind at five miles an hour. Temperature wise, how low can we go? 76 degrees in Lagodi, 77 in Jasper, 78 in Santa Claus, 79 in Owensboro, 80 degrees in Calhoun for Mama. It is 81 degrees in Tell City, and 81 is as warm as I see. It's also 81 in Vincennes and Princeton, and also in Flora up to the northwest. All right, I will give this a big shout out. Angie, you got to see this. Now, we're talking about all these cicadas, and an IU professor said it would be biblical, biblical proportions, and in some areas of southern Indiana, it is. Not so much here in the Evansville metro, but just to our east, we have seen that, and in parts of western Kentucky, just to our east. Check out what they're doing with the cicadas in Owensboro. This is what Chuck Cusera has done. Roasted cicadas. <laughs> uh -uh. It's wrapped in bacon. They have wrapped that in. If you're going to eat a cicada, it, it could be roasted and wrapped in bacon. Would you even know it? You would know it when you're having to use a toothpick to pick those legs out of your teeth. You know that? <laughs> and, you know, if you're allergic to shellfish, yeah. they say you can't eat cicadas. Oh, so if you're allergic to shellfish, you can't eat cicadas. Who knew? Who knew that? Uh, <laughs> I'm not allergic to shellfish, but anyway, they're, they are. They look a little for cicadas. They look pretty delectable. Let's just say that. Uh, <laughs> go, Chuck, go. <laughs> I am telling you, they will be on the fall festival menu. One of these. That, uh, it, one of these booths will have roasted cicadas wrapped in bacon. Anyway, live first warning dot the radar not showing anything out there. Well, it looks like a false return just down to the southwest of the radar site. Got a few clouds kind of spilling in from the southwest, but not amounting to anything. You can travel to St. Louis, Indianapolis looking good. They've seen a little bit of rain up in Chicago, but not much. And Cincinnati, Lexington, and Nashville all basking in some pretty good weather. In fact, as we zoom out a little bit, really not much going on across most of the country. The rain that cut through the tri-state brought us a pretty good dousing over the first three days of June. Now it's starting to work its way off the coast. So even if you're traveling to New York and D.C., you'll be on the back side of the rain for the most part anyway. Atlanta's looking pretty good too, although there are some rain showers down along the Gulf Coast and of course for Florida too. But looking out to the west, there's really not much of anything developing. But yeah, rain will be moving in on the back half of the weekend, not the first half though. Now Future Tracker continues, and it has really in the last several runs, to indicate that we could see a stray shower out there. The chance for rain is less than 10%, and it's down to the south. The chance for rain is pretty close to zero along and north of the Ohio River. So I would say don't expect a drop of rain today and don't expect a drop of rain tomorrow. Mainly clear sky tonight. Uh, hopefully enough clouds out there, though, this afternoon for a good-looking sunset. And the sun is setting after 8 o'clock these days as we get closer to the summer solstice, the longest day of the year. And, of course, that's going to be on the 20th of this month. And as we look at the future tracker, first thing in the morning on Saturday, nothing much going on. A few extra clouds in play in the afternoon. And again, future track indicates in the afternoon we could see a stray shower popping up. But again, chances less than 10%, not putting that on the board. But more clouds will start to stack up. Not exactly good sky viewing for our Saturday night. And then the rain rolls in on Sunday. And here we are at 9 o'clock in the morning with some scattered showers out there. Even a few pockets of some moderate rain. But most of it, at least early on, should be light. But that's just the start of more rain. A lot of rain days kind of back to back to back to back. 
As far as the rainfall, again, over the next couple of days, nothing, but we're going to be seeing some amounts less than a quarter of an inch as we roll through the day on Sunday. So it's not going to be a big deal. It's just going to put a little damper on this weekend, which is starting off really well. Mid-80s for a high today. Sunshine and clouds, but a lot more sunshine than clouds out there. And a warm day, yes, but not a humid day. And we're really not going to see it that humid over the next two days. It's going to be a little bit humid on Sunday. You're going to notice the humidity, though, next week. Not much of a breeze out there either from the west-southwest at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Looking good for Friday after 5 later on tonight and anything that's going on. Market on Main, of course, Porch Fest going on tomorrow. It's looking good then, too, uh, for Henderson. 86 degrees for our Saturday, so pretty much in the same boat as today with another fairly cool start in the low 60s. We're going to be warming up, though, on the low, at least, as we head into Sunday because clouds will be moving in. Here comes that chance of rain. Here comes some humidity next week and more chances for rain. And just, uh, you try to cover as much as that, much of that as you can. I'll try not to cover what's good. Oh, well, we don't want to cover this, though. This is from Enzer, of course, which is right outside of Owensboro in Davis County. And Carla Latham, look at that golden sunset that last night. Very pretty with a few clouds in the sky. So hopefully another good-looking sunset tonight we can check out. Well, check it out. We'll be back with more Lifestyles after this. Stick around.